Selena Gomez might be known for dominating on the small screen, on the big screen, in major concert venues, on the airwaves, across the interwebs, and pretty much everywhere in between. But it's safe to say that this lady is also solidifying herself as one of the top young fashionistas in the style game and more specifically on the red carpet. Right now we are taking a look at 17 times Selena Gomez proved herself in the style game. Starting all the way back when SG was a wee babe on Disney's Wizards of Waverly Place at the 2009 Creative Arts Emmy Awards, where she rocked a soft gray strapless chiffon gown by Marquesa. This look caught the eye and piqued the interest of the style world as Selena showed that she was growing up, which she proved yet again when she rocked a hot pink pop of color to the 2009 UNICEF ball. The then Disney actress chose Marquesa yet again, but she kept the look youthful thanks to the bright color pink. But if we had to pick a major, major moment in Selena's red carpet history, it would have definitely been the 2011 premiere of Justin Bieber's Never Say Never movie, where she officially transitioned into young womanhood by rocking a short, sexy satin dress by Reem Akra, which she held altered to be even shorter for the big event. The all down long hair and glowing tan finished this look off to perfection. And as memorable as that look was, no gown will ever go down in Selena Gomez history like this one. Her floor-length red Dolce & Gabbana look from the 2011 Vanity Fair Oscar after party also marked her first ever public appearance with longtime boyfriend Justin Bieber. He chose to wear D&G as well, and the matching pair then went on to make every best dress list in existence. Since then, red gowns have kind of become somewhat of a staple for Miss Gomez, who looked completely flawless at the 2013 LA premiere of her film Spring Breakers, where again she wore a Reem Acra creation that featured several cutouts and beading with illusion paneling through the neckline and on the sides. And just recently, SG showed off her love for all things red hot 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 at the LA premiere of her film Rudderless, but this time she showed off those legs for days in a Dior Fit and Flare mini dress, a dress that I should add gave her the opportunity to show off her incredible shoe game. These Manolo Blahnik cap top pumps were everything. And with all three of these red looks, Selena went for an all up hairstyle, which for the record really is her go-to on the red carpet. It gives her the opportunity to show off her gorgeous face while keeping the makeup fresh and young with a pop of color on her pucker. Another red carpet trend Selena seems to love and wears to perfection can be summed up in these three words, metallic, metallic, and yes, more metallic. As far back as 2012, we saw her at the Vanity Fair Oscar after party in a silver embellished gown from Dolce & Gabbana in which she channeled old Hollywood without actually looking like an old person. The gown was fresh and fancy, and then keeping in the metallic world but completely changing it up was Selena's gold fringe mini dress at the 2013 MTV Movie Awards. This was also a huge moment for Selena, both career-wise and as a young woman. This look showed SG's maturity and was also a launching pad for her new single, Come and Get It. Now in the hair category, this braid straight up set trends in motion and was the kickoff to several other signature Selena Gomez braids. But not many red carpet looks could ever top Sel's look at the 2014 Vanity Fair Oscar party. Justin Bieber really nailed it when he posted a picture of this look calling her the most beautiful goddess in the world in this gold embroidered tulle halter gown. Now this dress might have actually come straight from the runway, but I gotta say it looked like it was made for Selena herself. The all down hairstyle and simple makeup and the accessories really kept this look youthful and showed that she knows how to wear a gown that has a whole lot going on. And hey, side bonus, she even managed to catch the attention of Bill Murray, so score for Selena. Next up is Cell's mastery of a look that every woman can successfully achieve and should appreciate, the LBD, the little black dress. 
Our first two looks both come from Dolce & Gabbana. This gown at the 2011 Billboard Awards, and then this gorgeous look in 2013 at the Madrid premiere of Spring Breakers. Both sexy silhouettes, but very different vibes appropriate for each event. More recently, Selena dazzled as she showed off her curves in this unique kayak gown, which featured a deep, deep V neckline and a thigh-high slit. Keeping with the skin showing trends, Selena rocked Kushniet Ox with a satin midi-length dress to her 2013 Flaunt magazine cover party. Selena really understands how to show the right amount of skin without looking scandalous. And both hairstyles here were on point. We are still obsessed with that side braid. So we are down to our final five looks with what I am dubbing the wild card category because this girl is not afraid to try out new trends and take fun risks, starting with this amazing white and neon Atelier Versace dress from the 2013 Billboard Music Awards. Now very few people could pull this look off, but she nailed it. It was the perfect dress to wear to a fun music event. And then on the complete opposite side of the spectrum was Selena's classy and timeless DVF gown for her first ever Met Gala. The plum color complemented Selena's coloring to a T. The hair and makeup added to the overall glam factor. Plus, I mean, hey, let's face it, the Lorraine Schwartz jewels weren't too shabby either. And then to completely change things up, Selena went way casual and rocked some premium citizens of humanity skinny jeans and a snakeskin crop top to the Behaving Badly premiere, and yes, she owned the carpet. And keeping with the wild card theme was Selena's 2013 MTV VMA dress from Atelier Versace. The dress was sexy with an exposed corset and a thigh-high slit, but the fact that the gown had sleeves kept the right amount of skin covered and showed that Selena knows what she is doing. And now for our final look when it comes to Selena's best red carpet looks, we are giving her some major props. This dress is sexy and it screams that Selena Gomez is here to stay, especially when it comes to the red carpet. Her high ponytail and simple accessories are not trying too hard. And as per the usual with Miss Selena Gomez, she is wearing the dress and not the other way around. She's a total babe and a classy one at that. So friends, which red carpet look from Selena Gomez is your favorite so far? There were so many that we loved that we couldn't include and we can just not wait to see what this lady does next. So you all hit the comment section to join the conversation and then click right over here to keep in the Selena Gomez family with a rundown of the lucky, lucky guys that she has supposedly dated. Thanks so much for watching Clever, everybody. I'm Jocelyn Davis and you can also tweet me any old time. I'm at Jocelyn Davis. See you later.